Good morning. This is the start of day four of the Diamond State Sampler. We got Jacob with us from Eagles Overlanding. And so day three ended up there. That's the overlook on Crystal Mountain. So we'll get you going here in just a second. Sometimes when you lose your drone, you need higher elevation to connect to it. So the first part of this starts out as more or less gravel road, kind of rough trail, rough road, not trail. Um, but it gets into some trail closer to Winona. So we're coming back down from Crystal Mountain, crossed over, and you get a view of Flatside Pinnacle, uh, cross a couple of creeks, and then we'll be turning onto a trail here shortly. Pro tip, check your mud holes. So this is the worst looking of them all. Over there, it gets soft. Right in there. And then over here, it's real tight. And this gets soft. So this bypass really doesn't do you a whole lot of good. So, plus making that turn back over there is not easy. Told you my feet might get wet, Bogan. Oh, I did not expect to do that. Yeah, deeper than I thought. Just a little bit. Two-wheel drive truck, by the way. Mentioned that in the last video, and he mentions it a lot in his. But it is two-wheel drive truck. This trail isn't all mud holes, thankfully. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of mud, but unfortunately that's the way it's gotta be sometimes. So it's really hard to capture the view out here but more towards fall when all these leaves are gone. You've got a great view down here into the valley. bit deeper I was a little deeper but I made it so oh that's bright hang on I have this one marked on Gaia as deep water hole there is a bypass I would suggest using it so there you go
Yeah, that one was a little deeper. So you don't have to straddle the rut. There's plenty of room on the left over here. It'd be on your right coming down, but it's the full width of the road if you would like to add some spice. Are you having fun yet? Oh yeah. Short hike from the road. Out to this little outcropping. Swamp area. So, nice little swimming hole over here with a rope swing right off the road. So, if that's your thing, rope swings and swimming summertime, this would be a good spot for you. So we've stopped here at the Winona Spillway to eat some lunch and then we'll be carrying on to some more trail. So you'll have a small section of asphalt, it's really no big deal, it's fairly short, just keep your speed down, if you air down, um, then there will be a small low water bridge that you've got to go across as well. Oh, we've got some ducks. That's the Saline River. Check it out. If you're not comfortable with it, turn around. It's not that bad though. The view up here is awesome some old drone footage I'm gonna throw in here but as far as you can see it's all pine trees and rolling hills and it's pretty neat well, are you having fun so far it's great trails he found some mud found some mud it's a good day when there's mud yeah. to each their own but 
we're having fun finding some new stuff for him i've done all this but i hope y'all are gonna enjoy it it's uh pretty scenic this trail is a little bit more technical but it's not bad Gravel road action. We got our photographer taking pictures. Yep, we're blocking the road, but we can see both ways, so it's cool. Awesome views all the way around. It's sunny, so there's bright. Now you can see again, but pretty cool. Shout out Arco Overland, Jacob Kane. Look him up, Facebook, Instagram. I'll drop a link somewhere over there. I think it's up there. Well, this isn't terrible. It's a little washout. Just hang far right or far left if you wanna. Yeah, get a little bit more wild. No big deal. Just a little bit of roots. Just get slick. We started about 11 o'clock today. And we've covered 35 and a half miles, according to Gaia. Um, four and a half hours of moving time. Um, it's taking us almost five and a half between videoing. campsites on day four it's got an awesome view
Well, this will end it at the Hollis Country Store. They're usually open. Not real sure why they're not open right now, but they aren't. So that'll end day four. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit more technical than day three, but for the Washita's, it's pretty good to get some trails in. So again, hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, leave leave me comments down in the comments and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. So here are their hours. like they've got diesel and unleaded diesel unleaded that's always cool well what'd you think of day four I liked it a little bit more trail than day three a little longer scenic more muddier more fun y'all can keep the mud I don't really care for it I've said that a bunch of times but fun day Two-wheel drive, made it. I made it in two-wheel drive quite a bit in mine, too. Um, if you're not subscribed to Jacob, Eagles Overlanding. I'll put him somewhere up here, Eagles Overlanding. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, the GPX file will be down in the description. If you haven't already, subscribe to me, too, please. Thank you. Everything he said. Ah. I said give me a million bucks. Do that. <laughs>